BTS is a worldwide sensation, breaking nearly every record of the internet. But what you don't know is that BTS had an eighth member. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Maddie Tingles. Uh, I'm just happy to be here with the boys. Oh, it's that guy. <gasps> yeah. Oh, he was really cool and super cute, too. Yeah. Well, he just disappeared one day. Disappeared indeed. But where is he? It's just, like, so weird. I mean, one day, he's there and everyone adores him. I mean, he's my bias. But then he just disappears off the face of the earth. What happened to him? No one really knows what happened to him. And as BTS continues their meteoric rise to stardom and fame worldwide, fans are wondering, where is he? I mean, we all know how it goes. It goes, Kim Nam Shun. Kim Seok Jin, Min Yoong Gi, Shang Ho So, Park Jin Min, Kim Tae Young, Zhang Zhang Cook, Maddie Tingles, BTS. Has everyone just forgot this? Maddie, if you can hear me, come back. I miss you. And they absolutely miss his stellar dance moves in their music videos. Well, I just find it really strange that you would just disappear without you know, one day like that. Are we going? Oh, we're, we're, oh, we're going. Okay. Oh, look, okay. It has been a long, long time. Since I've been in front of a camera, <laughs> this is uh, this is very strange. This is very strange. Um, I mean, as long as my hair is looking good, this is this is good. I mean, okay. I think I'm ready to go. If you guys are, yeah. Okay, so just just so I'm clear too, this is kind of like a documentary. Um, like what I've been doing and kind of my side of the story about why, um, why I left BTS, how I'm responsible for the majority of their success, um, how I wrote butter, that kind of stuff, right? Just, just kind of telling the truth finally. Okay. Okay. I think I'm ready. I think I'm ready. How many people do you think are going to see this? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you interviewed some people already? Oh, wow. They were... Oh, boy. They, they were upset, huh? Oh, boy. I mean, I'm... I am here to tell the truth today. I will explain everything that happened... What is this going to be called? Okay. Kind of just like the pitching it as like the the forgotten eighth member kind of thing. Okay, good. Okay. All right. Well, I mean, I think I'm ready to go if you guys are. Um, I think I know where I'm going to go with this. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right. I'm ready. <clears throat> You don't want me to use the microphone? I mean, I'm just kind of used to uh, used to using it. Um, I'm not even really sure how to talk to to a camera uh, without holding a, a microphone. I mean, I guess I don't have to hold it, but I mean, this is so out of character for me. Yeah. Okay. I understand. All right, well, that's fine. Oh, this is, what do I do with my hands? 
Oh boy, okay. All right, everything look good? Yeah, I think we're good. Yeah, I am, okay. Looking good. I'm ready to tell the world what really happened. My name is Maddie Tingles, and I was the eighth member of BTS. Yeah, so um, this is this this is hard to, to talk about because you know since 2013, BTS was everything to me. Um, I helped build I helped build this group from the ground up. I worked tirelessly on everything from from the music to choreography to just keeping everyone together. And, and making sure everyone got along. And uh, <laughs> I know a lot of people are here watching this, trying to figure out exactly why I quit the group. <sighs> Sorry. The reason I quit the group is because we just grew apart. I have a lot of things to explain. And I want to make it very clear that I have nothing against any of the members. I wish them nothing but success. But I think that my story and my side of the story deserves to be heard. And that's... That's why I'm here today. Really, it all started. That's what you're asking, right? Where, how it started. Really, it all started with the Boy With Love song. That was a huge hit for BTS. I was the one that brought Halsey onto that song. Okay? A lot of people don't know that. BTS and Halsey didn't even know each other. I was the person that brought Halsey in for that. And then look what happened. The group, our management, our team did not want to give me credit for that. And therein lies the problem, credit. I did so much for this group. And I never got credited for any of it. I mean, I think gradually, once I started realizing what was really going on here, I started to I started to notice some things. Okay, I started to notice that uh, you know performances I didn't know about. They were doing secret photo shoots. They were doing secret studio visits. They were doing secret collaborations. And it got to the point where I was basically pushed out of the group. <laughs> And all I ever wanted for this group was to work and and build this family together and, and, and make great music. And I got pushed out. I mean, look at this for instance. I was in the group for this. Do you see me? Do you see me anywhere on there? Hmm? They started doing merch without me. I was in the group during this. <laughs> and look, I'm not trying to come across as bitter. I'm not trying to come off as mad. I'm not mad. I have I have royalty points on a lot of these songs. I have writer credits on all of these songs. I'm fine. <laughs> But I think, you know, the BTS, the BTS following, the Hive, the community worldwide deserves to know what really happened. And that is what happened. They pushed me out. Sorry, I'm, uh, can I? Thank you. Yeah, no, I, I just. Sorry, I just, I feel. 
I feel more comfortable holding a mic. After all, it's what I was good at. <laughs> um, there's basically an entire album that got scrapped. Want to know why? It's because I had a ton of lead vocals on the album. And once they started to push me out, <laughs> see what I mean? Look, I am I am only here to tell the truth. And if any of the members of BTS were here, if they were here without management, if they were here without PR, I think that they would want to apologize. Again, I have no malice towards them. I love those guys. We made amazing things together and did amazing things together. I just got too many, I got too many emails, I got too many tweets, I got too much media press asking what happened to the eighth member of BTS and when they, when they contacted me to make this video, I didn't want to do it, I really didn't and what made me really want to do this was just to get what really happened out there, okay? BTS fans out there, I love you guys. I miss you guys. I miss being on stage with the guys. I miss even the things that you don't see, like dance rehearsals and and backstage meet and greets and traveling all over the world. I miss all of that. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, my integrity and respect or lack thereof was more important. Um, what's that? You have something to show me? Oh my. Sure, sure, here. Yeah, yeah, bring it here. I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna show you guys something <clears throat> very disturbing. That may be an understatement, but I'm gonna show you something very disturbing that was really kind of the last straw for me and why I ended up leaving the group. Okay. So hang tight. I'm going to show you something. Are you ready? I mean, this is going to be, this is going to be the headline. So newspapers, publications out there, blogs, YouTubers, whoever's going to talk about this, which I'm sure will be a lot of people. Get ready. I'm doing your work for you. In 2019, I had the idea and I pitched to our team to do a line of dolls of all of us. Okay, so you know you could you could you could you could go buy your your favorite group member and just have kind of a collectible doll or you can collect them all. This was the last straw for me. So get ready. As they say on the internet, get ready to clip it. <clears throat> there was a lot of dolls that came out. Guess who's didn't come out? I'll give you a second. Any guesses? That's right. The Maddie Tingles doll. Keep in mind, I was still in the group. Ladies and gentlemen, 
I have the doll. Do you want to see it? This is a, well, I was going to say a BTS exclusive, but I should probably just say this is a, a Maddie Tingles exclusive now, huh? I'm going to show you the doll. This is a one of one. Maybe we'll do an auction for this for charity. Maybe I'll do an auction and the money goes to buying tickets for people who can't afford them to the next BTS show. Who knows? Again, I wish nothing bad upon them. <laughs> I really don't. But I just have to tell the truth. And so this is the doll. This is a one of one Maddie Tingles BTS doll. You'll never find it anywhere except for right here. You ready? See this? Do you guys see that? That's Maddie Tingles BTS doll that never came out. This never once came out. Ever. You guys see it, right? <laughs> this never came out. This is a one of one. You want to know the ironic part? Photo on the back. I'm nowhere to be seen. Try to explain that. Hmm? Whole group on the back. My name clearly printed. My face clearly on the doll. My style. And nothing. This was the last straw for me. When I saw these collectible dolls flying off the shelf. hurt it really did and it sucked you know it really sucked because again I don't regret anything I don't regret leaving I don't regret any of the amazing things that we did I don't regret any of it I regret not standing up for myself when I should have, because this is proof. A Maddie Tingles BTS doll. And I'm not even on the back. <sighs> yeah. Did I write butter? Oh, are you, are you being serious? Yeah, yeah, I wrote butter. Yeah, I mean, they changed some stuff in the production. But, um, I mean, for since 2013, I have been saying, I mean, you know, you guys will know this, but behind the scenes on the bus, on the plane, I always say smooth like butter. I always say that, <laughs> you know, um... And, and also, like, permission to dance. Look, again, I don't, I'm not trying to make them look bad. I love those guys. But, like, that was my saying. That was my saying. <sighs> look. The truth is, I miss everything about it. But the truth had to come out. <laughs> and... The fact that they're calling this the eighth forgotten member of BTS is what hurts. Because I would hope that the fans have not forgotten me. And uh, it's been a weird time. I've just been staying off the grid. It's been a, it's been a weird time. And... Uh, Honestly, it's weird to be back in front of a camera, but if they are naming this the forgotten eighth member of BTS, I am Maddie Tingles, the eighth member of BTS. I'll see you soon.